Hello again, Carol Martine. I'm inviting you again into my studio because I thought it might be enjoyable to chase away some of the cold and winter blues. I found this interesting stencil, which is not really a stencil. I found this in, uh, I believe, A.C. Moore in their paper section. And this, believe it or not, is paper. I have used it before, as you can see, and had good results. Let's see what we can do by putting some, with some, putting some roses in our world, on our background, for this small journal spread. I thought I might try Ceramcoat Santa's Flesh, which has a bit of peach tone in it and Ceramcoat's Pink Quartz, a fairly pale pink. I thought what we would try to do is put the pale pink around the inner areas of these roses and the Santa's Flesh around the outside, which might give us a nice start for on a background. really enjoy ceram coat acry liquid acrylics because of their op opacity and their colors. Well, here we go. Which one will we start with? Let's try this one. Now I'd like to stay in this area, if at all possible. move up to this one. And this large one on the top. Now we will certainly not be doing anything but the Santa's flesh on the outside ones, but let's be careful on this little rose. We are down in the corner again. Now, let's see what happens when we add the Santa's flesh to this rose. If, it over, if the Santa's flesh overlaps the pink, that would be very, actually very nice. If you hear any noise in the background, we are having a rainy day and some small sounds of thunder in the area. North Jacksonville, uh, in Jacksonville, in the northern part of Florida, we are going to be having some cold weather setting in. And yes, it does get cold in Jacksonville. It can get down to the high 20s at night and stay up on a very cold day. It can stay in the, uh, in the 40s. Whoops. Whoops. Now I am working very hard right now not to think about that miss. One of my New Year's resolutions is to leave my natural OCD craziness behind. And so this will be a good opportunity to practice. I 
goodness, I do hope this looks as nice when we remove the paper stencil as it seems to be looking through the paper stencil. It's very pretty. Nice. A nice background design. I think I'll dry this a little bit. Since we are on a rosy path, I've taken out two uh, Conte uh, pastel pencils and I'm going to use them to sketch on three, three roses. This will, and I'm just going to sketch where the, um, the stem, a few leaves, and just the general outline or circle to show where the rose will be. Now, let's try one here, maybe one here, one over here, and let's let this one be our tallest. And maybe this one, our shortest, and this one, let's see, shortest would be here, so tallest will have to come up to about there. And let's see, what size do we want our flower to be? Maybe, maybe this big for that one. Maybe a little bit smaller for this one and a little bit more oval shaped. And this area for our big one. Let's go back to thinking about our leaves. And here. only have room for one on this little guy over here. So, flower number one, the medium one, two leaves. Flower number two, the big one, two leaves. And the little one, one leaf. Now, I forgot to bring my art guard with me because I'm going to be probably be doing these roses with my fingers. So I'm going to get that right now. I highly recommend use of Art Guard when you're going to be using your fingers for these paints because I'm not going to be using craft paints. I've pulled out some of my golden tube acrylics and I'm sure that they have more sure that they have more chemicals 
included. Then one would expect. All right. Now let's think about this. Hmm. Maybe Quinn Magenta for this one. Maybe Indian Yellow for the little one. And Quinn Nickel Azo for this one. I've also taken out some Titanium Buff, some Hansi Yellow, and open Titanium White, a little bit longer a little bit longer lasting drying, a little less drying time. A touch also of my Diary Lied Yellow Golden Liquid Acrylic. Some Delta Ceram Coat. Now this is Ceram Coat, but it's rather an old bottle, but it's one of my absolute favorites. It's Magnolia White. It's not quite as dead a white as you can see as the as Gesso. Not sure how we're going to come to our uh, leaves and stems, but I've gotten out my standby Wedgwood Green. So, let's see what we can do. Which one will we begin with? I think we'll begin with this one. Now, I'm thinking that we will just do a little, a little planning here. We'll have our darker shades in here and some lighter down here and a nice wrapping of the outer of the outer petals. In fact, we might even dig back into our liquid acrylics. don't know whether we're going to, I'm going to be using Titan Buff, but it's going to be available. In fact, I believe we're going to, I'm going to get out the Indian Yellow. Some of the Hansa Yellow. Nickel Azel. And lots of our white. Now finger painting is new to me, so when in doubt, plunge. Let's just do it to it. Going to be working up here. I couldn't resist that little bit of pink that was there. And maybe just a touch of Titan Buff. To soften this section of petals. And now, let's see what happens when we apply our Let's try 
try again. Let's go to this next one. And I believe we said we were going to do the nickel azo here. Let's see if we have luck again. Thinking just a touch to soften that a little bit. Maybe since the Titan buff seemed to be happy on the other one, let's have it here. And let's get the Side petals on. Oh my. That dirty finger is working a treat, isn't it? Now let's work on this one. When we said we would like to make have a little bit different shape, let's see if we can do that. Alrighty. Let's put in a little tighten. In fact, a little bit more than we used on the other ones. Now, what? This one looks like it's going to be right at the edge of our paper when that's wonderful. thinking that this needs to have just a little bit more of a mix of, oh my goodness, isn't this nice? I have Titan, I have this pink quartz, and our white, going to mix together. Let's see if we can just work some of that. always to try to maintain the shape of our flower. In fact, maybe just a little bit down in here. And this I believe we will leave alone for the time being. Look at those. All right, that one is nice. Yes. Now I believe we need to have some color in the center of the flower. Let me find a nicely shaped paintbrush handle and see what we can do.
and up here. To draw our eye, center area. Now I'm going to go back to my pastel pencil and get a little bit more forceful with this new stem line. Now I'm going to indeed use my old trusty Wedgwood green and the colors that are already in the roses themselves to work on painting our leaves. Find. brush that I have in mind, because uh, there we are, it was hiding on me. This is our Princeton Filbert, number eight. I think it might work nicely. We also need to remember that we have growth leaves. Well, we've had luck, luck so far. Let's see what happens now. Okay, okay let's see. Here we go. Let's get our Being very suggestive here, I don't want a straight line. I don't want anything here that looks like a pipe cleaner or a soda straw. And since we have pastel underneath this, it is not going to interfere in any way with our application of acrylic paint. Again, the leaves are going to be just as suggestive or almost as suggestive as we can make them because these roses are certainly quite suggestive. Notice I did not add any water to this brush because I wanted the paint that I applied to look just as mottled as it is doing. And water would have silkened it out and maybe not have achieved my purpose. But 
I certainly have my water handy in case of any calamities because since we have put this on acrylic and I have a handy wipe, uh, I'm sorry, a baby wipe, handy to make it all go away if necessary. Now I think I'm going to add a little bit of water. We need to have more of our growth, growth leaves suggested. is going to benefit some to, for some coloring here, a little addition. I'm seeming to be liking Titan Buff as a go-to today. And it kind of helps because of that uh, Santa's flesh that we put in the background. This is starting to soften up the leaves nicely. And now, just the slightest touch of the color in the heart of this rose. Let's add some of the correct color there, and I'm going to make believe that I didn't make that mistake. I'm going to make believe that it was a happy accident. believe that we are going to have to put more dimension back up here. And the way to do that is to stipple or dab or punch on. Oh yes, 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 yes. I'm wondering what will 
happen, what will help to bring out the roses against the background roses. I'm wondering if I use some line work, some doodling around the stencil areas lightly. Will that help to push that back? Hmm, I don't know, but there again, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I have my Uniball Signo, and I think I'll start on this side, down here at the bottom, and see what happens. As you'll notice, I'm doing about the same thing I did with brush. I'm certainly not exactly following the stencil lines because we don't want it to be so overpowering that it takes away from the look of the roses. I'm thinking that this will do the job nicely. I believe now that I'm going to take this up to the top of the page to show you what the effect is around the roses. Now this is going to take quite a while to dry because the white was an open brand which is a slow drying acrylic so I'm going to work on this area around this rose and I'm going to put an edging on this and sign it and I will be showing this on my the finalized version on my Facebook so if you would like to see what the completed piece looks like please refer back to my Facebook book page, Carol Martin, and I'm certainly hoping that you have enjoyed this adventure, perfect way to pass a rainy, miserable afternoon, to make us think of spring a little bit. If you have enjoyed watching this process, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And subscribe to my channel. Just a little bit more before we have a look at this area and see if we have achieved our goal with the semi-outlining. just enough to let us look 
a little bit harder at the flowers, which are our focal image. And I will zero in one more time before I leave you today. Hope you have enjoyed watching this adventure. Bye now.